Hey everybody, once you've grabbed the materials as suggested, we can go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you what I am working with today. Here's my black colored pencil, and here is my cooler red color of pencil. It's a little more pinkish in tone. And then here is my warmer or darker red colored pencil. We're going to use just these three pencils to create a realistic gift bow, so we don't need any blenders, we don't need anything fancy, we're just working with these three materials. We're going to start applying our colored pencil to the cones on the gift bow and we are going to follow along with the values that we see and try to recreate them on the cone working from left to right. We are starting with our cooler or lighter red pencil that has a little bit more of pinkish undertones to it and we are going to apply a really soft pencil pressure and start establishing this very first layer of red on the cone as we see it. I'm moving from left to right and I am adding a little bit more pencil pressure when I notice that there is a darker shade of red on the cone. So in this dark area right here, eventually we will add black and red to layer it, but for right now we want to just establish our base layer of red and I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more of a medium pressure and fill in this triangular area. And then if you noticed, I skipped over the white space or the highlight on the gift bow. This is what gives the bow a shine, makes it look like it's realistic and that it has form. And I'm not going to color any layer inside the highlight. I'm going back and I'm going to apply a medium pressure to the darker area of red. That will eventually be an even deeper, darker shadow. And I'm going to use a really light pencil pressure as I near the highlight. And we can see on the picture it's kind of fuzzy, kind of looks a little blurry because of the resolution. And I want to pay attention as I'm working through the rest of the cone that I am changing my pencil pressure for all of these layers that I see. On some of the shines you see that there is a little bit more of a red and still a fuzziness, and then it comes to a clear highlight. I like to go ahead and softly mark where the highlights will be so then I can go back and fill in the spaces with the correct pencil pressure depending on if it's going to be a darker shadow or a just a light area of red. So friendly reminder, darker red areas you're using a medium to harder pencil pressure but not your hardest pencil pressure. Lighter red areas use a soft really light pencil pressure application. Now that we've finished our first layer of red, let's grab our black colored pencil and we're going to start applying a nice even layer with light pressure to develop the shadows in the shaded areas we see on the cone. I'm going to work from left to right. If you are left handed, you could work from right to left. It doesn't matter which direction you work, but I want to make sure that I'm working from one direction to the other so that I can keep track of where I've applied this layer of black. Colored pencil is all about layering. So once we've finished with our layer of black to deepen the shadows, we're now going to take our warmer or darker red colored pencil and we're going to apply a layer of this color on top of the shadows we just started adding with our black colored pencil. When we layer this warmer red tone on top of the black, we're deepening our shadow, but we're also blending that black and the very first cool 
color of red that we put down in colored pencil as well. So this red is helping develop our shadows and it's also blending the layers of colored pencil as well. I am also taking this color of red and I'm applying a very light application to the edges of the highlights to make that transition happen a little more smoothly as well. Once we finished layering our warmer red colored pencil, we're gonna get our black colored pencil again and we're gonna develop and push the shadows even more. So now I'm going back over it with a medium pencil pressure and I am adding another layer of black and I'm smoothing out the red that was just applied as well. Consistent mark making will also help blend the colors and layers of colored pencil that we applied. So if you've noticed, I've been coloring up and down in a vertical direction for most of the shadows. And so when I go back in with my colored pencils, I want to make sure I'm repeating this direction. And sometimes I'm going horizontally to blend these areas just a little bit more. After we finished with our black colored pencil, we're gonna go back to our warm or darker red and we are gonna apply one final application of this color. I'm using it to soften the edges by the highlight and add any more red. And then I'm going back in with the black once more to push the value in these shadowed areas to be even darker to build the illusion that it does have form and that it is curved and it isn't just flat. I'm using a medium to more hard pencil pressure. And you can continue to do this to push the cone to have a higher contrast based on how you want it. We're gonna apply the same process to each section of our gift bow. So we're starting with our cooler or lighter red colored pencil and we are going to softly or lightly apply pencil pressure to start developing the really light reds that we see on this section of the bow. Remember to save a white space for the highlight or the shine, so that way the bow can look realistic, like the light is really hitting and glistening off this spot. And after our cooler red, we're going in with our black colored pencil and we're applying a light to medium pressure in all of the shadowed areas of our bow. Next comes the warmer or more dark red pencil that you have available and we're going to really push those shaded areas 
by applying a medium pressure of this red along the layer of colored pencil that we just added with black. And then we're back to our black colored pencil and we're gonna apply a medium to really hard pencil pressure to make the shadowed areas even deeper to make it look like they have more depth and more form and that these shadows are gonna be the darkest parts of this section of the bow. And then up next, the warmer red pencil for some natural blending and developing the more red tones of the color of the bow. Make sure you're using a medium to hard pressure and you are consistently using the same direction of marks to blend the shadowed areas. And then in this area, I'm actually gonna go back with my black colored pencil and I'm going to press a little bit harder in the spots that I noticed on the gift bow need to be even darker to provide a bigger sense of depth in contrast. So I wanna push my black shaded areas even further to make them appear like they have a darker value. And then for the final touches on this area, we need to finish this space on the gift bow that would be in super dark shadow because it is the part that sits down on top of the table and you're looking into the bow so it's really 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 in shadow so we applied a layer of black colored pencil and then our warm red i'm adding a little bit of the cooler red and then back in with a hard pencil pressure with our black colored pencil to start filling in this area. And you may notice that your drawing does look a little bit funny until you get your contrast to be pushed on both sides in the darker value and in the lightest values. So it's important that you pay attention not only to the highlights, but also to this really super shaded areas as well. And you can go back at any time and touch these areas up. All right, so let's go ahead and finish our gift bow by applying all of our applications simultaneously. So I'm gonna use the black pencil in all the areas that need to be used with the black colored pencil first, and then follow with the cool red pencil, and then the warm red pencil, and so on and so forth. You can feel free to pause this video as needed, or fast forward, or rewind to rewatch and try to apply your value to the rest of the gift bow.